Welcome back to another video of TCG Card Shop Simulator. Anyway, let's play. On the right side, I just want to read some stuff here on the game roadmap. If you look almost at the bottom, like fourth from the bottom, you can see playable TCG. So we'll eventually be able to play the card games potentially versus customers. That's going to be awesome. Anyway, let's play. Okay, so is my workers here? We'll just open instantly. Instantly. This one only has 24 in, so we'll grab this and open. There's already someone sitting at the table, that's crazy. So if you guys missed the previous episodes for some reason, uh, we're now just farming experience. I feel like this is the best reason to open up cards. The value of the cards doesn't really matter too much. You, you roughly make back what you open anyway. There's a stanky guy that walked in, but our shop is set up perfectly to, to spray them all. So they walk here and this one's like, oh, someone stunks. And then, once they walk here or there, this one sprays as well. And then it's just a, a good situation. Oops. We're on the wrong side. I also... Uh, started to sell uh, the new plushies. You make $50 profit on each sale. Which is just a little ridiculous. Okay, let's put in some more cards. I saw someone else only use doubles. Dude, look, it's, it looks so uncomfortable to scroll that much around the whole time looking for doubles. Like, nah, dude. I mean, it will, it will make sense. You must probably will have a better time than I am once, you know, once you can actually play cards versus uh, people, right? But I would just open a million cards then anyway. So by then I'll be fine. Like if I'm further progressed, I'll be opening way better cards. I wish there's a way to tell if you have a bundle. Other than just coming here. Okay, so we need to buy more of these. Plushies. Honestly, can't believe we're making $50 or well, $30 profit on this. It's just absolutely ridiculous. How's the shelves looking? Okay, I think we need to buy more of those. No, I think he has it. Someone stanks. Oh, he's sprayed, bro. Double. A hundred and forty one. Eighteen. We're a thousand dollars already, dude. But wait, there's more. 
I mean, who knows how long it's gonna take for us to be able to play the cards. Our tables is really full. The money is just flowing here, it's crazy. It's actually three. I, I wish there's a function where if I open up this, that you can sort it by only doubles. Uh, sort album. Amount. Ooh. Ooh. So there is a way to do it. We just won't make the most money then. But we'll make some. Um, might be better. Let's maybe also start doing it. We're only selling doubles. Uh, we need to buy more purples and boxes. Level 19 will get the better license for the purple boxes or so. Let's see here. Yeah, level 19. Plushies. Get some spray. You see, that's not good. <sighs> now we have to look whatever is above. Above one dollar. Okay, we reached level nineteen. Starting to have a cure, bro. Maybe I should help you a second. Thank <laughs> you. 
This one's almost empty. One more spray. He stacks it so slowly. But I'm okay with that. We're only selling stuff that's uh, big. We're not selling individual cards, so even though he stacks slow, it's, it's still worth it. Okay, we should buy the purple box, the big one. A thousand five hundred dollars? Bro, that feels like money in the trash. Like, honestly. It's not- it's not cheaper to buy that. It's just more convenient. Are you doing a sale? Only one card. I mean, this is how fast cashiers is in real life, pretty much. Oh, dude. See, this is the problem I have with this store being open. If they walk through here, like if I can somehow manage to close this door, you know, which is fine, perfectly fine for most shops having one entrance, they will always get sprayed if they walk through here to the to the card shop or to, to, to the tables, but they don't and there's no way to fix it. Did I also think the developer should nerf? Ooh, what the heck? Nerf how good bo uh, 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 how good um, tables work in this game. It's just way too good. Okay, we're almost at the next one, next event. The biggest tip I have for you guys, if you're playing this game, is always make sure that your um, your tournament is on the highest level. Uh, because card values change us to the highest packs um, for that level. And you also make more um, money per hour for them playing. We're standing on $2,400. And you can see how many tables is full. Let's see. Let's press enter. Let's end the day. So we made $200 just by tables. And we paid $200 bills, but yeah. Okay, and we're open. Almost at the next uh, rarity of cards. And I wonder if we should make this space for something else. For me, I think it sounds better to rather buy another figurine 2.5k uh, for Burr Pig, licensed 2. 
They look so similar. Big Bigney Pig and oh, oh yeah, Bigney Plushy and Burr Pig figurine. They look pretty much the same, dude. What is, uh, is there anything else we could buy here? Requires level 20. What the heck is this? Fire deck. Earth deck. Water deck. Oh, okay. So, can I fit shelves in anywhere? Yeah, we can. can fit in the shelves here. Quite a lot, actually. So, I don't know. Plushies? Plushies is very profitable. Buy a double shelf. Is there any better shelves we can get? A, car, a small car display. Car display table. Big personal shelf. You can get a better checkout counter? No, no, it's just another one. Yeah, we'll just get a single shelf. We'll just buy one because it might be... Problematic later. Uh, you see, this might also be better to do it the right way if we're gonna just buy stuff. For example, the red ones go here and not here. And then the stars go here. Okay. Just better to do it this way, I think. Oh my goodness, dude. Like anything above a dollar is fine. Now make it market price. Even though if he has to use cents, I don't care. Okay, we need to buy green plushie. I don't think you get a corner shelf in this game. Would be cool though. We get a double shelf. Let's try. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, okay, this looks pretty bad actually. Hmm. Uh box up, see? not that bad, I think. 
Oh no, this is the cards. So these cards I still have to open myself. We don't want this guy to place cards, otherwise he takes four hours. So we have to buy that. There's no box by star. So we need to buy stars also. Plushy. We need to buy spray again. I think I also need to grab a spray. Okay, so what do we buy now? What license do we want? I mean, we're on our way to level 20. So we're gonna get a legendary card soon. We can get these fire packs. And then earth. Mm. Or we can get more plushies. Uh, let's see how much profit plushies make. Eight dollars. Eighteen dollars. What? And this one is thirty. Thank you for the plushie buys, bro. So, either cards or plushies here. Hmm. Cards or plushies? I think. I think we'll buy one card, one plushie. How does that sound? What is the event? It's it's first edition border midnight. No, no, possible. Format is vintage. It doesn't really say if it's fire, earth, or water or something. Uh, so we'll just we'll just buy. It's gonna be annoying to scroll all the way down that far every time. Look how far down it is, dude. Where is it even? Yeah, it's really far down. It's below legendary. Okay, we will start just with the first one then. We'll get fire. Ooh, it's really expensive. Wow. Because it's so expensive, we'll keep it at one, like only one side, right? It's only the left side here. Oh, sorry, back. I want to change the price, Mabri. We're only making $7 profit. It's so bad, dude. Nah, I should have bought the plush license. Uh, that That is not good.
Seven dollars. How much is that? Seventeen. Thirty. Seven. A thousand dollars license, and we make seven dollar profit. Ugh. Not good. Not good enough. Did I just see correctly? Was it 2,400 or was that 240? That was, that was, that was, what was it? Let's see, a sort. Sort. By price. Oh! <laughs> My goodness. We got a $2,400 card. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, duplicates. There's actually a function called duplicates. That is perfect. This is exactly what I want. Wait. Fine, we'll open up one more pack while these guys are playing. Nah, let's just end the day. I mean, it should be stocked pretty good. thousand four hundred dollar car dude so now a second second highest card now is seven hundred dollars and I also haven't sold it yet I don't know where that card is it's a completely black card like if you know other games, it, it looks like like Viper from Dota 2. Okay. I'll just take over for a second. One forty-five. Oopsie. Oh, that's how much it costs. Oopsie. Uh, 10 cents more. Okay, I'm slower than the cashier himself. I'm pretty sure about that. more of those. Oh, here he comes. Seven 
So what, it's just red plushie? Red plushie doesn't have a box. That's pretty much it. Oh, and also the purple one. And then the purple one. I feel like just buying the booster pack, to be honest. It's just more convenient. Let's just get the shelf filled up first, before we buy the booster. Wow, so cheap, really? Why is it 64? It should be 65, dude. Market price is 60, almost 66, dude. Why is the round thing not always working? Uh, okay, I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. So... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Market price is 21. So, 22. Market price is... We'll make it 23. Overpriced, dude. Holy. That's why some of this stuff is not selling. Profit is minus 22 cents. I was hoping the round thing would actually take market price and then round it. But now it seems like you need to click market price then round. And then it would work how it, in my opinion, should be from the start. green plushies again. Instead of double shelving, we can also single shelf, just one line down. It might actually be better. Because, like, I don't want to upgrade the space. I don't want to make it bigger. Because we, we, we pay more rent. And I feel like the tables we have is right now paying everything. We can also put shelves over here. Potentially. Uh, let's buy one. Nah, we shouldn't buy one right now. I wonder how profitable, like, something like dice is, or... Hard sleeves. Uh, I shouldn't be wondering about any sh stuff. We should just buy plushy when we can. It's so far, in my opinion, the safest rewarding when it comes to buying a license. I mean, there is a way to check it. Um, you can see prices here. But you can't really tell how much profit you make, right? Oof, maybe that's why we make so much, so, so little profit on that. Thank you. 
I need to fill up this rack first. I mean, dude, there's so much we can actually do. We can make single shelf with the cards. We can uh, maybe keep a double shelf for purple because it's the most profitable, right? We make $32 uh, on per sale. That's pretty much double the amount, dude. Right, the, the whole price is 66. We're making like double the amount. So like single shelf, $16, $15 single shelf. We should put the boxes better down. No one on the side. I wonder if you can even put... We'll see. Because I actually might turn them to all just face in one line. All the way down. And then put shelves on the side. Okay, so more plushies for sure. It's two and a half thousand dollars for the next uh the next plushie though. License. We can get two of them, put them like here. Yeah, this is not gonna work. This is uh I will show a better way to do it then. When it comes to picking the cards, it will, there's a much faster way. Okay, we need one of these. Maybe it's the shelf that's the problem. That's why it, like, it falls around. As you can see, the others is actually pretty nicely put down. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll sell that shelf then. We'll move the plushies over. Maybe to here. Let's get rid of that shelf. If it's a problem, you fix it. How do I sell? Box up? Sell. Would be better to box up blue and then put this there, but it's okay. Like, I don't care too much. Okay, so when it comes to duplicates, just click one on each, and then you know for a fact you don't have to count and look and, and see, oh, this one uh, we only have four of, and no. Just click everything once. Okay, we need purple. What else do we need? Purple. Let's spray. Also a problem. So we might sell, change that. Let's do it.
But I still wonder why you would buy deodorant from a, a card shop. Oh my. Okay, this is awkward. No! Go rest, dude. We shouldn't buy weird shelves. Okay, there we go. To start opening cards again. Okay. People still in the shop though. No. We'll end it. Day 30. One month after starting our journey. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Maybe just put it there for now. Because I want to sell this rack. Uh, box up and sell. So it's just for now there also. And we're open. Okay, we need uh, figurine. Uh, we can also buy the license. Let's do it. Okay, market price round. Only twelve dollar. Hmm. It's not that great, but at least the racks are starting to look full now. Yo, is this guy still resting, dude? No. Yeah, we need to buy more purples. Like, way more. I think I'll also start opening purples myself.
It sprayed her when she got out, so maybe one is not filled. And all is filled. So she got in without... Oh, maybe she got in here. And then walked around, bitch. So you can't do it from the side. I felt like I should take over the counter. Ah, dude, we got this. I mean, would you ever want to take on the card shop owner when it comes to you playing games? Who knows, maybe this card game will be versus other shop owners, other people online. I mean, I doubt it though, like that would be too big. How's purple not stacked? I bought like three purples, dude. There's one, there's one. Maybe people just buy it so fast. We have stars or so. He's gonna stock stars first. What's wrong with you, buddy? Sometimes I wonder. But yeah, the new guy will become our stock key at some point. Then we'll then we'll buy more quantity stuff like plastic bags, uh, like, uh, like single standalone cards instead of the boxes. I don't know. No, no, we'll, we'll keep the boxes. It just makes more sense. <laughs> People are not buying that. So we have more purple though. Yeah, but I want to open some as well. Fuck it, I'm buying the license. I don't know if it's worth the convenience, though. Hey, Andrew Tate's back. What's up, bitch? Where's your Lambo? 
or Ferrari or whatever you drive these days. <laughs> Oh my. Also need to buy the blue one. Hmm, chair is somewhat empty. I think at level 20. No, 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 it's not level that based. Now it's $18 an hour. So all my tables is now making $3 per hour more than what they did yesterday. It's, it's just stupid, bro. Like, I, I honestly think they should nerf it. It becomes a who owns the most tables makes the most profit game, right? It's, it's honestly where you make the most money. You pay $220 for a seat that could potentially earn you... $18 per hour. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. How did I miss this guy? No slot available. So he walked past without... Uh... Huh. Excuse me. buy purple again and blue okay tables is more filled now new event that means different cards will become more expensive now again Where are you entering, buddy? Gotta take one of these. One of those. Looks like we gotta buy more figurines. Since I don't see boxes on them. It's a blue and purple. <sighs> Give me the option to close this door. <laughs> I wonder if you can, like, close it yourself. I doubt it, though. If I can put, like, shelves right in front of it. Or even this desk, like... Right there. So you can't walk in here.
I can't believe we got a $2,000 car, dude. This guy's about to restock, pur uh, restock purple, and he's like, nope, it's 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock, dude. I just throw it down <laughs> right there and go home. Okay. Well, he's buying stuff. Has no item in it. I'm honestly wondering, dude. Can I buy anything to put there? Can I buy a red plushie? I don't think I can buy anything to put there. It will be too expensive. We can maybe put plastic there, but... Yeah, that's doing. I don't know how profitable plastic will be. Yeah, this guy is gonna take forever to stock this. Okay, don't throw the box away. Let's just see how profitable it is. Well, it's not that bad, actually. I'll take it. Okay, it's end of day. And we're open. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. We got one more night, one more night to get this. Whee. There we go. Oopsie. Red plush, yeah. There it is, yeah. We did buy. We bought way too much plastic, but it's okay. So we can get something else soon in on the shelf. To make it a single shelf. See, I want to leave purple as double shelf because we'll change the other side to the new card at level 20, which is literally around the corner. For me to empty the shelves, I could just open the cards myself as well. Let's open up. Let's open up this. Let's see if it's worth battle deck. I can't. Well, that sucks. Plastic for days now. We can move the fire cards over or something. 
and then put, put plushies here. The newer one. That we'll buy at some point. Yeah, he's gonna stand by this plastic <laughs> for too long, dude. We need blue, but it's there. So I think it's gonna go back and do the blue one now. You first have to walk out to this point and then think, oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh yeah, I got a job, I forgot about that. Let me walk in again, as slow as I possibly can. And let's go r rack up the blue. <laughs> no, it's so stupid. Dude. Maybe he can't get there. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Okay, we reached level 20. Uh, so we can actually fire him and hire the new guy just right off the bat. <sighs> Level 20. Let's see. Restock fast. But he's $300 a day. Processing fee is $2,000, dude. Goodness. Checkout speed is very fast. At level 25. Yeah, so we will replace that guy soon. This guy. I'm deliberately not buying purple right now. Like we have one of two options. Either we just get the new cards first. $2,000. Or we get the new restocker first. This guy just gives me a pain in my ass, dude. Is that more plastic? No. You see, I also buy double stuff because he's so slow. red here and then the new cards will be over here these guys are just sitting next to each other like I don't want to fight you bro okay sit next to me okay I have no opponents. It's okay, we'll wait. I'm here to meet guys. I don't play against a girl. I want to talk to a guy in Whoopi's ass. And get his number.
He's gonna pick up this box soon and put it in. There he comes. New cards, baby. <gasps> He's throwing away that box. Ah, <sighs> uh, that sucks. Wait, we, we have another box here, the blue one. Quickly. No. Lower the quantity by one. Quickly. He's gonna run back! Beat him! Okay, I beat him with one. Okay. Decided to go for the cards first before the person we hire. see it's I think a little bit better we want to make more money but efficiency is also key to success I want to open up these cards also the new ones how long until the new event 844 customers have to play so yeah it's just the more seats you have the more rewarding it becomes it's like a never-ending cycle of, of success it's kind of weird like I don't understand I, I do understand going up by like a dollar every now and then but dude I'm charging $18 per hour and like you can see where it started was seven it's it's more than double it's closer to triple. Would you would you set at a table that charges you eighteen dollars an hour for playing a game? I'd be like, yo, bro, let's go sit here. You know, and play right here. I'm not gonna play on a table. So we need red plushie. I think we'll just add it, not buy. Someone is stinking. But they're clean. We need to buy the new plushie also. Obviously the new cards. And some blue. over here now.
Okay, let's end the day. Made some good money. Every day we make good money, dude, honestly. Total salary to be paid all employee working in shop two days. Due in two days. Oh my goodness. If we can't afford anything right now, we just have to wait. I mean, we can also sell our insane card, you know? So there is people playing, uh, buying plastic. See, this is another reason why I don't want a plastic, because like the tiller is so is very slow. The cashier. Not even to mention how fast this guy is packing it. One item per five seconds. You see, the cards is worth dealing with because, like, it's five dollar profit, right? But the plastic is a dollar and forty cents. That's why I'm also a fan of the plushies because it's it's not that many. It's five per rack or six. Yeah, it's five. No, it should be six. We're just yeah missing one almost in every shelf. Where the cards is 27 per rack, and plastic is 20 per rack. Don't worry, we'll make money soon again, and then we'll just like stand for days opening cards. These are tables are somewhat full. Eighteen dollars an hour is kind of stupid. Kind of broken, dude. Eisenberg. <laughs> Your days are numbered, my brie, and I'll never see you again. Ever. And you want to round also your numbers so that this guy can actually do his job. So when it comes to change, he's not like standing there for 10 hours. Yeah, our bills is piling up like crazy. $1,200 salary, $1,400 for rent. 
$2,700 due in two days. Yowza, dude. They just spend $50 playing cards. Each. It's $100 we just made there. So in this game, if you struggle to make money, just buy more tables. Like, honestly, there's nothing better. And also, just make sure that you are on the latest event at all times. Because you increase your amount you make per day. Or per hour. So the next one might even be $19 an hour. It might still be $18. Like, it honestly doesn't matter. Just stay on the latest event. Unless you, like, specifically want to make a, a card, a specific card, more valuable. But I don't think there's actually any reason to do that. Goodness, I can't even open this. Okay, we'll open up this one. We, I want an empty box right now. moved across. See, I don't really want to put the box down now. Yeah. Turn around, dude. No, turn around, dude. No, turn around, dude. Stay away. So what can I do then to prevent this guy? Go home and shower, dude. Before you go in public. Like, what's wrong with you? He's coming in. They should make an update where if you, like you can remove, oh, we can remove it. Okay, perfect. We'll put plushies here. Okay, that's evidence that you can go in that corner in place, okay? We have way too many red ones. And we're still missing a star, so we'll buy.
But if I open this up, it shows your total value in the bottom right corner, $6,800 total value. That's a good price. So we'll save up to pay our bills right now. It's higher priority. I don't know what happens if you don't or can't pay the bills. Don't know what happens then. And to be quite frank, I don't want to find out. But we do have another, another rack here. How's the spray life looking? Almost empty. Oh my god, this place stinks. Yeah, it's because she enters through the back door. She's like, oh no. I don't want no deodorant. Close to me. I'll enter I'll enter there and then go to the shop. Should spray them with doom, dude. Coming out in public. No. be a good amount. One ninety. Not bad, bro. Now he sits down in a random chair, but Okay. Found a player. And this guy's about to find a player also. It feels like we have a lot of chairs that's open all the time, but I'd rather have too many chairs since it's so profitable than not enough. I'm not gonna buy I'm not gonna pay the bills I'm gonna see what happens if the deal will just uh, automatically just take it from us okay we'll just end it here yeah these guys are not even fighting wow so cheap okay we got another customer we'll wait until he buys this is a uh, free labor right here Wow, so cheap, and I'm just gonna go play? No. I feel like the unhappy customers or the satisfied customers is people that, uh, that stanks. But obviously I don't get to in time. Dude, and all four of them are gonna buy. It's so weird on shop open, like how full it gets. <laughs> Goodness, if you look from this angle, it looked like he was holding a toilet paper in his hand. The white chair there on the right side. Okay, dude. I'll do this one. 
162 Thank you, come again Get back to work. We need to open up more cards. So the, the dupes will just be different ones. That's all new cards, dude. You see, the queues will become excessive again because of... <clears throat> Goodness, what the heck? Because of individual cards instead of boxes. Because of the plastic. I might actually remove plastic from the shop. It might just cause infinite problems. You gonna buy cart? <laughs> buy that one too. She couldn't. Even if she wanted to. There you go. So the back one is also spraying. So I triple spray once they walk in. Oh my, oh my goodness, dude. You see, this is what I'm saying. It's honestly not my fault. <clears throat> I mean, it's my fault for making those chairs instead of actually what it's meant for which is the storage room but i feel like it comp like if you compare this game to supermarket simulator this game just has better um box orientation right so your workers just drop the box right where he's refilling it which in theory will give you an indication, hey, uh, we're missing stock or something. If you don't see a box in front, you know you don't have any of those stock. So purple red, that's plastic. So we need to buy 
purple and red. Yeah, I don't think we'll buy plastic again. Once the plastic runs out, we'll we'll replace it with something better, something whole. It's more profitable. I mean, pl I think plastic is profitable. It's just when it comes to racking and when it comes to checkout, especially if you don't want to do either, right? If you want to pay someone to do it for you, it's going to be a common problem. Because cards alone is not worth dealing with. It's better to do the boxes, but... You can't not have cards. <laughs> You're a card store in the first place. Whatever he puts down, I will open. I wonder if I fire him now. I don't want to see. The salary is still the same, right? I'm not too sure. We'll just fire him for today. get faster stalker soon. Plastic. So we need this one. Because I feel like if you want to somewhat speed run this game, what you'll do is... Um... You'll just stand and open boxes the whole time. Like, literally nothing else. You'll just open boxes the whole time. So I want my shop to be efficient. <clears throat> so that I could just, like, check what we don't have. <clears throat> what the heck, bro? I hope I'm not becoming sick. <clears throat> Looks like we need more spray as well. There you go, Stinky. The stinky with no brains. A stinky with no brains. One is smelly, the other just farts. Wait, what the heck? So yeah, that guy's salary doesn't disappear. We should have let him work the whole day, actually. So, salary to be paid, 1,400. Rent to be paid, 1,006. So, 3,100. We'll just go to bowls. You know, I think if we maybe move this rack to, like, here, we can potentially put another chair next to it. Hmm... I don't know if we actually need another chair, to be quite honest. We have a lot of open chairs. Hmm. I just leave it as is. I 
I mean, I want this to be on display as well. These are older cards. survive until nine o'clock because after this day ends we'll hire the new guy hopefully i mean it's two thousand dollars to start hiring the guy is expensive yo Did we buy spray? Sometimes get a feeling that people are just stealing my stock, dude. Boxes just disappearing. This is why I don't want to do this. Because if, if I want to do this efficiently, I would run this game like Supermarket Simulator. Where we'll have, over here will just be shelves uh, to, to run stock on. But then you realize like how slow this guy is stalking and then you're like, okay, well, his random point of origin is to stand over here and daydream for a bit before deciding to do something. So having all your stock there is actually inefficient because he walks out here. He stands by the boxes anyway on the outside. Eisenberg, you walk through this door? Or to go sit there? Wow, gotta get one of these and one of these. One of these nuts on my chin. We'll see how much money we lose now. Because it said two days due, $3,100, right? I'll help you, bro. He's actually going home. Yeah, it makes sense. It's end of the day. Profit a thousand six. So standing on four and a half thousand dollars. Minus two fifty. So it says rent due today. Three and a half thousand dollars today. Due today. You know what, dude? I don't give a fuck. Let's go uh, higher. Let's hire that bad boy. He will get the job done, dude. I think we need to buy purple. Restock shelf. Uh, no.
Thank you for your patronage. $376. Goodness. Let's see his speed. This is fast. So this is how fast looks like. I did buy purple, right? Dude, it's so dumb that they're walking to a point of origin before they get their next task. Bro, I bought purple, put it down. Thank you. Walks all the way inside to get a plushie and then Go stand outside again, like, I don't know what to do anymore. That's not purple. Dude. I'm gonna lose my stuff. Pick up this box, bro. This needs restocking also. He has he has a lot to do. I honestly think this is why they take so long. Because like after you restock this, you could restock this. You're standing right next to it. You could restock this if there was anything there. But no, he has to walk out of the shop every time. It doesn't make sense, dude. Like I hope this gets patched. Like, if the guy was talking slowly, it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. But the, it's the walking out and in the whole time that is not working. some cards and open goodness dude we're making bank here Someone stinks, and I think they walk in into the card side again. <laughs> I 
I think we might want to buy another spray. Let's just do that quickly. Maybe it will help us get more customers. The problem is this chair, though, right? Because if I put it here, like right here, it will spray both ways once I walk past it. So the problem is this whole table, actually. Not, not that chair. So what we can do is we can block it off with a shelf, right? Move that other shelf. So it can be two shelves here. And this will force them to walk this way. And then, then right there is a spray that they have to walk past in order to get to, fir to the first chair. Hmm. I think for now, just keep it simple. No. Rotate. Yeah, it has to be somewhat like that. I mean, it's not long from now, then we'll get new ones. we might actually get more people playing the games. And I can't move this desk, otherwise... We could maybe put a shelf like here and force them to walk straight and only have one then that sprays, you know, that way and this way. So the front one will spray and then the back one. Once I walk past. But no, like, you can't move this desk, so you have to do something weird like this. Where no matter which way they walk, whether it's this way or this way, they'll get sprayed double. Dallas. Yeah, once we get a better spray, this table should be fine. and everything still looks like it's working.
They buying me shop empty, dude. And yes, it's a good thing. We're making bank, baby. We can sell another item here. Should be the other figurine, I would say. You know, if we actually move this plastic to two shelves over here. Hmm. Question is, can I even pick up everything? In time. <laughs> he says no. What are you doing? We'll have to wait for him to leave, I think. No! <laughs> he loves his plastic, dude. I bought purple, I was hoping he's gonna walk with it, but he didn't. No one stanks anymore, dude. We're good. No, give me the box! No! Idiot. Also went home. Okay, let's end this day. Let us have a look over here. Minus 250. So it's just daily minus 250. I don't have to worry about like uh, absurd amount. Late by one day. Okay, never mind. Late payment. Okay, we need to pay those rents. I, I, I honestly hoped it would be auto. Like most games, most simulation games, you pay your rent automatically. So I guess you pay f penalties to pay r uh, rent late. Majority is done. It's going to be a while before we can actually get those plastic off there.
I'm going to buy another plushie. What else did I set up to buy? Epic card box. Rare card box. I need all card boxes actually. We don't have red plushie, do we? Oh, it's that red card. So red plushie. I think we have a star. Yeah, we have a star. So just red plushie. The cheaper one. And then we'll save up to pay rent. looking good chairs is very empty today Double spray. You know, regular shops have these beams in front of the door if, if you steal something. My shop is like, nah, dude. It's gamers. They stink. They stunk. I keep looking at that shelf like it's empty. We need something there as soon as we can. Oh, what? We have like no one playing anymore. No one's at the, at the cards. Our shop is just full of buyers. Okay, there's someone sitting finally. buy that yeah <laughs> you stank woman I felt so rich not too long ago, and now I feel somewhat average, poor, I would even say. The rent is a bit crazy, like how much it is. Wait, do you haven't placed it yet? Bro. I mean, he's working, but still, it's inefficient.
Okay, there he goes. Not a bad Mabri. We're out of stars. You see, I wanted to lay down like this so we can actually see what we have stock of and what we don't. Uh, one of the sprays is empty. Quickly, I walked into the other one. There we go. You see both sides spray him. You see, this is the problem. Spray him the eyes, bro. Like I said, if we get a... And he's playing against the girl. And you, <laughs> why, dude? If we put like a... Uh, a shelf here that's pointing the other way. We can force them to walk a specific direction. And then we'll turn the tables to be all like going all the way down in one line. Dude, is that your twin brother that's buying now? Okay, let's pay our rent. Our mobile's almost flat. I think it's also an indicator of the time in the game. I can't believe how broke I feel at the moment in the game. <laughs> yeah, it feels like I'm starting to get sick. It might just be that they want a different event. Oh my goodness. $22 per hour on the tables now. So all of these tables just upgraded with one click. That is just stupid. So let me tell you this, okay? You buy a table for $220 and you make $22 per hour on it. How do heck? Uh, 
And now people are streaming in to the tables as well. <laughs> so when is next one? After 500 games. My brain keeps saying that that shelf is empty. It's almost 9 p.m. and you walk in here and sit on the table two minutes before you have to close. Like, are you serious? do we need? A cheap fire deck. Oh my goodness. So it looks like fire will go up tomorrow. Um, and I think it has to do with the event. That's how much he paid. They're still sitting at different desks. Could also be a problem for having this many desks, you know. Employee minus 2000. Rent 2200. Profile minus 1009. Game earnings, 905. So you're telling me we made $905 by just having tables. That's crazy. So I think right now what we're going to do is we're going to fix this, um, this area quickly. Um... So QC, 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 okay, rotate, so I don't want to put it against the wall, right, because I want people to walk around, so like right here, you can still walk around it. Um, I want the back end to be against the wall though. Because I'm planning to put shelves there eventually. Put it here. It's all fixed, dude. Mm. 
Uh, let's just buy a shelf. How many shelves is it going to be? Go home and shower and come back. My scroll button is broken, so I just have to tap R. Okay, so that's sorted. Uh, this, I feel like we could make better. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can't. Maybe we can't. Yeah, we can. Just move this over here. Okay, we'll have an extra for now. They don't mind boxes. Okay, this is uh this is fine. We have a lot of shells now to uh, fill up. This is annoying, but let's see. Our... You know, even if I make this closed, dude, buy a single shelf and put it right here. People will have to walk into the shop. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Cool, guys. We're going to actually end this episode over here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.